Hi, this is Sun Sun Moshi, and this is a horoscope reading for Scorpio for the weekly energy reading of December 1st through the 7th. I am so sorry, guys. I somehow spaced and forgot that one when I did the horoscopes reading. Uh, it's really unorganized. There's like three videos already, so this is the fourth. <laughs> but I thought I would maybe type a description, but I was like, no, I should just make another video. So, and I'm over here because I woke up in the morning and um, I'm just not going to move my setup, but basically this is going to be your energy at the beginning of the week, your energy in the middle of the week, and at the end of the week, and advice for all parts of that. And then we're going to be looking into what sort of spiritual work or what kind of spiritual gifts you might be working on at this time throughout the week. Okay. And then this is that deck to see what kind of spiritual gifts you might be working on. This one, that one. And this one, wow. Okay, very specific. Alright, so your energy at the beginning of the week is the chariot. Mm. So I feel like you're very determined to move forward at the beginning of the week. Um, you're like, I feel like you're sort of waiting for the divine timing for something to happen. Um, the advice, okay, so I don't know how. Your advice is to, to postpone things, to keep waiting on on some sort of action, maybe a deliverance of a message, um, some form of communication or decision making. I'm seeing like you want to move forward, you're thinking about it, but something within you is telling you like to wait a little bit and the advice is that that's a good idea. Um, a spiritual gift you'll be working on. Ah, yeah, you, it's kind of like, I'm kind of getting this as the hanged man almost, where it's like, though you could do different stuff it's just it just looks like it's a really good energy to to be in right now because you get this card which is you receive help at destined times and you have a strong ambition and you are fearless so no matter the situation you are in you are exactly where you need to be even if it doesn't feel like it like if it feels like a, a bad situation or a situation where it's like oh how are you gonna get out of here you know out of this sort of mess um, I'm just getting like, it'll just happen. Like, you don't have to do anything. Uh, it's kind of like there's a, a wrench stuck in the gear of your chariot. <laughs> uh, even, I'm pretty sure chariots don't have gears and stuff. But anyways, and uh, just with enough time, the, the wrench will get taken out on its own somehow. Like, you don't have to do it is what I'm getting. Um, or like, if you're lost. Um, basically a situation will come up where you are found and then you're like oh cool I was found like something like that so that's the energy I get at the beginning of the week your energy in the middle of the week is temperance okay so I feel like you really got comfortable with this energy you're like okay this energy is not going anywhere I am kind of stuck in the situation my hands are tied may as well heal is the energy so you're being helped a lot like through spirit as always you know but like specifically at this time um in the middle of the week you're going to be feeling this sort of presence that's like healing and helping you and then your advice this is the, the three of pentacles um working on yourself um knowing that you are where you need to be because uh you need to work on something to be able to collaborate with others down the road is what i'm getting the spiritual energy with that ooh, is this card, Luffy. Um, so spiritual gift you'll be working on is helping others. You'll be helping others a lot. Um, at least that's like the energy you're carrying. Like, you know, maybe there's like not a lot going on still in the middle of the week. But like whenever you feel you might need like someone might need your assistance 
they're like, okay, I'm down. Like you're, you want to do it because it's like it benefits you, benefits them, benefits everyone. Um, it benefits you because I feel you just really enjoy helping and healing. You know, very much like a light worker is the energy I get from all this. Um, and I also feel like there's just someone like really positive that you either meet or communicate with um, in the middle of the week. Um, but it's also just someone you know that is like that, like wh however this resonates. So basically what I'm seeing is there's not, your advice is like there's not really communication per se, but there's certainly teamwork. So it's like feeling that you are working on yourself and someone else is also working on their, like their self and you're both gonna come together and I feel like it's not really this exact week, but um, for some of you, it could be. However it resonates, um, it depends on what this teamwork energy means to you. Um, so if you're collaborating with people in the middle of the week, that's kind of what this is about. If you feel kind of on your own, it's saying, like, this is all for a reason. You're healing, and so are, like, your other soul family. Um, and perhaps, like a, like, a romantic interest as well like a really strong bond um, and then the end of the week your energy is the five of wands um, with the advice of the eight of cups um, so in order to to work together with your soul tribe whoever that may be to you or a specific individual or maybe a few um, I feel like this is you and another in particular to continue working on that you're realizing that there's energies that don't serve you in the present or I guess by the end of this week um, that create a lot of conflict for you and you're like I just you know like emotionally you're like this is not what I'm looking for this situation I'm in does not make me feel emotionally fulfilled so you get this sensation maybe something's missing so your advice is to listen to that sensation and to leave this situation behind and move to something else and and find something within yourself so the spiritual work you're going to be working with is your clairsentience yeah your feelings um it's very much your feelings your empathy is um very much uh, a powerful energy i'd say through the middle and the end of the week so you might and you might notice that your emotions are like running really high but your emotions are going to guide you through this so at the beginning of the week um there might not be a ton going on but you sense that very soon there's going to be um maybe stresses that you're going to have to work through uh negative situations and energies that you're going to have to heal through to to clear that out and to kind of move to a brighter like situation in your life to manifest more things that you truly want to be manifesting so that's your energy reading for those of you who saw this message my apologies once again for forgetting <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> this is a very unorganized weekly reading um but i will be catching up on the youtube channel pretty soon um but more so in january because holidays is still coming up for me but i'll be around you guys will see more pick a card readings and stuff so yeah that was everything hope that all resonated sending lots of love and light peace out guys